Hello everyone and welcome back to Literally Dying Right Now. Even though there's actual no right now in my name. Hello, Flirt Ripposaur. Uh yeah. Alright, so today, the moment uh, you've all been waiting for randomizers. Everyone likes them, but everyone hates them at the same time because my luck sucks. I don't know about yours. It's pretty bad. Anyway, so today what we're gonna be talking about is randomizers and how I use them. So there are tons and tons of different ways to use randomizers. Uh, the one I use uh, uses armor stands and spread players, which comes with some pros and cons. So let's focus on the pros first. Uh, first of all, the pro, it works. It's, it's a pretty good pro. Uh, the lag is almost none, unless you have like a ton of different things. Um, that's pretty much all the pros. It's not the best one. There are much better ones. I just can't think of them. Oh, acquired hardware. I'm, I'm, I'm proud. Um, as for cons, there are a few more. First of all, it has to be a multiple of three in order for that to be a middle and for it to work correctly. Uh, second of all, uh, some will be more common than others. That can be a pro and a con, depending on what you want. For example, I just have one of the worst fireworks spawning more naturally than the other ones. Uh, so that can be a pro or a con, depending on what kind of randomizer you're working for. Uh, so let's just get straight into what is going on here. So we have all this boring stuff. And actually, what happens over here is what the real stuff is. So we've got... It's fireworks stuff and things, you know? So, uh, yeah. Yeah. So basically what's going on here is, uh, when the game starts off, you got these, uh, armor stands that are no gravity, custom name fire responder, they're invulnerable, and they're invisible. They're teleporting around with a spread player's command that's completely the same as this one, just with different coordinates and different range. Um, and then, basically, they're getting a constant buffer. The same one that's in my buffer, my other video with a buffer. The snowball fight video. So basically, what's going on here is whenever they reach a certain number, it's going to uh, summon a fireworks so execute it all. It's going to test to make sure they have a score of buffer at least 49. If 49 is successful, then it's going to summon an armor stand that's invisible and vulnerable, no gravity, and it has a custom name of Fireworks Rando. Fireworks Rando. You're just going to cut the other one out. Uh, and it's going to spread players that armor stand all over here. And it's going to spread players. Uh, basically, how spread players works is you've got spread players, 19 being the X coordinate, uh, 115 being the Z coordinate, uh, zero blocks away from each other because uh, there's only going to be one of them. Uh, one standing for how there's only going to be, it's only going to go to a radius of one because this is zero and this is one and we don't want it to be on the ground. Um, and then false being going with teams, which doesn't matter in this case. And add all entity is name equals fireworks rando, so it's only teleporting that and not everything in the world. Um, and then it's going to set block a redstone block on top of it, and it's going to spread block, set block an air right on top of that block, so that it's just setting it off and then getting rid of it, and then it's going to kill it. So basically what's going to happen is it's going to spread players to one of these random spots, and let's say it chose this one, it's going to summon in the firework, uh, and then it's going to set block concrete, which is setting it from the red block that it was into back into the, just the black block, and then resetting the score so that it doesn't constantly happen. It only happens every 49 ticks. Uh, I don't know why I chose 49. It worked. Uh, I think I was trying to do something with score 50 before, but I never ended up using it. Uh, so yeah, that's basically about it for this quick, messy uh, tutorial. If you liked it, uh, uh, do yeah, yes. I mean, we'll see you all later. Bye. So basically what's going on here is we've got... Um, these armor stands that are constantly teleporting around, if I go into game mode 3, I can actually show you said armor stands. Wait, no I can't, just kidding, because I forgot how my game works. Uh, take 3.